Welcome everybody to another episode of the Jost and Float Podcast. I am your host, Dwayne Toussaint, aka Dwayne the Comic, and I am live and direct out here in New Jersey. This is the first in-person episode in New Jersey. I'm not in Louisiana anymore. You know that if you heard the last episode. But enough of that, I am here. I got a guest. And not only do I have a guest, I have a special guest. This man right here is from New Jersey. I think he's from New Jersey. We'll get into that. And he is also the creator of Nothing Is Sacred, Mr. Brett Burvis. Oh, thank you so much for having me on, Dwayne. I no appreciate problem. it. I'm excited appreciate to be you. here. I appreciate you being a part of it, for real. Now, like we start off every episode, real simple question. What was the last song you listened to today? The last song I listened to today? Oh, wow. This is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hold on. I'll tell you right now. I'll give you the. I'll give you the exact. Cool. Why is it? Last song I listened to was Five Hundred Pounds" by Lil Tecca. Uh, I listened to "Regrets" by Little Peep and Lederic featuring Horsehead. <laughs> Emo I'm not rap. familiar. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not familiar with none of that. No. Shout out Kuda though. Kuda, one of my homeboys. He listens to Lil Peep apparently. Oh, R.I.P. Lil Peep. Peep is great. I love Peep. I don't, I, I can't tell you no songs about them. But, yeah, I listened to 500 Pounds by Lil Tekka. So nice. Very simple. You know what that is? Those I do are, know Tekka. I, okay. I've been to Rolling Loud a few times. <laughs> I've seen Tekka. <laughs> that is funny. I like the delivery. It sounds like a cop. Um, right? <laughs> you guys know where I can get any of that little Tekka? <laughs> Well, yeah. All right. Well, we can get into it then. That was thank, shout out to you for answering the, the question quick. No one ever does that. Oh no, it usually takes some time. But I was uh, like, do I, am I, do I, am I just gonna like try to throw something cool out so people are like, oh, this guy goes deep and cool. I'm like, I'm just, I'm like, I'll give him some real. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So you from New Jersey? I am from New Jersey. Okay. Born and raised in this area. What part? Uh, I was uh, Paramus, Bergen County. Hmm. It's like uh, I know Paramus. Yeah. About like 15, 20 minutes outside of uh, Manhattan. Yeah. For yeah. That's how, like, when I went to school anywhere, I'm like, oh, I'm like New Jersey, but like right outside of like, New it's York City. It's almost New York. Yeah. Like, you know, I get the best of both worlds, you know, like I can enjoy the city, but I don't have to deal with the chaos of it. Like, that's always the bullshit everyone from my area goes with. I'll, but I'll, I'll say this. Before I came out here, I didn't know how close Jersey and New York was. I didn't no. know it was literally right there. People don't know because when I went to school, people used to be like, oh, you're nowhere near like New Jersey. I'm like, what do you mean? Like the kids from Illinois would be like, oh, we're from like Chicago. I'm like, you're f- like two hours from Chicago. I'm a bus ride. I'm a 10-minute yeah, 10 10 bus minutes, ride. Like, right there. I dare you could you. walk there. Yeah. That's I'm just, like, we're a little bit closer than anybody gives us credit for. Yeah, I didn't. I, I don't know. But I, I guess that's just people who don't. See it. I don't know. That's a, I just never thought. It don't sound close. No, it doesn't look so. that close on the map either. Yeah, like it doesn't. But no, it's literally right there. So yeah, that's what's up. What? What? At what age did you start doing comedy? How long did it take you to find out about? I didn't find out about stand up comedy till my senior year of high school. Yeah. So, like, did you always know about? Were you always a comedy fan? I enjoyed like like SNL in like middle school. Like I would try to stay up and watch Saturday Night Live in middle okay. school. Like Mad, I loved Mad TV for some reason. I don't know if it, it was because it maybe I think it started at like an hour earlier or something. How old are you? Me, I'm 35. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I loved Mad TV too for some reason. I was just trying to see if we came up on the same yeah. type of shows. Yeah. I'm Mad little, TV a little bit. But yeah, no. I'm a little bit older, right? Mm. Yeah. So. Matt, but I would say in like high school would be right around. But I like the idea of like getting into it was like completely like it was like how do you even begin yeah. again? Like I, I couldn't even comprehend trying stand up comedy. <laughs> it was like I was like I loved radio too, so I was big into Howard Stern and Opie and Anthony and that. Nice. So I'm like, so that seemed more attainable somehow. More realistic. Than, yeah. Than. I don't know why, but that seemed more attainable than I'm, stand-up comedy. I don't... Speaking from... The radio is, seems more attainable, because like you can see a radio station and stuff like that. Yeah. You don't see co- stand-up comedy no. just out and about. Like, you know... Radio, you can kind of see how to get to it. Yeah, they, there's classes and school. Yeah, You're like, and All there's right. so many radio stations, yeah. so... Especially then, they were like... There was like radio is still like a a thing. Yeah, like at, in Lake Charles in uh, Louisiana when I was growing up, like they, I knew where all the radio stations were because like it was so con- like I, if I wanted to be on the radio, I figured I 
I would be able to get into it if I really wanted. Like you could show up, drop a tape off. Yeah, like you could do something. I could kind of figure it out. Right? Comedy was like I don't need, I don't know where to even start with. I that. have to go to Hollywood and they have to <laughs> yeah. find me. In the I have street. to get in the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. That's what's up. So, so you're also a wrestling fan. Yes. Were you watching wrestling around that same time? Yes, I was a big wrestling fan as a kid, like especially like a little kid. Then. There, I'd always hit like a like a one, like a year or so where I'd be like I got out of it for like a year or so like in high school like yeah, I, that's I was out of it for a little while yeah I was I, hard in it till like till eighth grade yes <laughs> yeah. what it's like you hit that eighth grade thing and you're like all right I'm not I gotta start doing other shit yeah, <laughs> yeah. even my mom was like are you still like into the wrestling <laughs> like come on. She also said that like two years ago. Are you still with the wrestling thing? Like, what are you doing? I feel like that's how it would be if I, if I was still if I was talking to pe- people about it. Still, they'd probably be like, "Are you still watching wrestling?" Yeah. I mean, I don't give a fuck anymore. No, I'm like, I watch so it good. when I can. I love the fake thing. It's like, well, you like you know, like Superman's not real either. I can enjoy that too. I've so tried like, to make that a bit so many times that like, yeah, I know it's fake. Just like y'all know movies are fake. Like, yeah. it's not it's not roastable anymore. It's so I weird. get it. Like. I also think I peaked in eighth grade because I went to WrestleMania. Oh, how um, great. I went to WrestleMania in my eighth grade year, and then, like, that summer was when I stopped watching wrestling like that. You, hit, you, you, you <laughs> left off at a good point. Yeah, I was like, I think I can stop watching it at this point. I've You're done like, what I wanted to do. I finally got to a WrestleMania, like, I, and, like, it came to, they did Giant Stadium or Meadowlands Arena in, like, 2014. MetLife. Yeah. And my, like, we, my dad, myself, and my brother went. Cause like we used my dad used to was take us when we were little kids. Was that the Rock and John Cena? Yes. Wow, that's a good one to go to. That was I enjoyed. I, that. I went, and CM Punk versus The Undertaker on that. Yeah, one. you went to you went to a good one. I've been to two, and both of them. It's funny. I've been to two, and both of them. When you go to like on YouTube videos and stuff, they're always ranked as like top five worst WrestleManias. Why? <laughs> Which ones did you I see? I went to twenty five and thirty four. 25 was Shawn Michaels and Undertaker the first time. Well, how could anybody say Shawn Michaels and the Undertaker? It was the only good. It yeah. was it was fun to me. I had a great time. I'm a I thought Shawn Michaels all of it guy, was fun. So me that's too. like a great like. Me too. But I mean, the Undertaker. It was just seeing all that in person was crazy. And the second one I went to was 34. Okay. Which 34 was pretty bad. That was when they was playing with beach balls and shit during during the main oh, event. All right. I had never seen that before. That was crazy. No, the, the beach ball thing is wild too. Like, 12 beach balls going around. I've never seen a wrestling match bomb. Like, I said, like a comedian. Like, just the crowd did not give a fuck. That was crazy. You could tell in the audience where the crowd just, like, doom scrolling. Yeah, they were chanting boring Uh, and all kind of stuff. It was wild. And you know, like, when you paid all that money to go there, like, you'll be like, you'll be like, no, we're having a good time. Like, most people will be like, no, we're gonna, we're having a good time. It's the power of, they're like, fuck this. (laughs) They get to the point of the night where you're like, ah, now we're gonna just ruin this for everybody. Yep. We don't care what's going on. This sucks. We're going to let you know it. Oh, man. <laughs> I used to, yeah, I, my dad took one time when we were a kid. He took us to see, to the garden. And it was nice. Flair versus Hogan in the nice. WWF when I was like a little kid. That's what's that up. That was super good. That's like peak. Yes. <laughs> and then we, I, we went to Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble in like, the Royal Rumble in like 2000. Royal Rumble 2000 were like, uh. It was like uh, Triple H versus Cactus Jack in that street fight. Oh, shit. I, yeah, I know what you're talking and, about. And, and the, the Rock won. The Rock won the yeah. Rumble, and it's the Rock he tosses out the big show. Yeah, his feet touched the ground yes. first, but they still said he won. <laughs> okay, my my dad's, uh, yeah, he took us. My dad doesn't like wrestling, has no interest in it, like, couldn't be, couldn't be less interested. But he would always take us. So we're at that Royal Rumble, right? It's mm-hmm. a Sunday night. He's got to work the next day. During the main event. The, it's just the, the Rock and the Big Show in the ring. My dad is sound asleep in the ma- in <laughs> the Madison peak Square of the yes. pay per view. He's asleep. I mean, <laughs> out cold in the seat. I'm assuming it was loud as hell in there. Yes, there's twenty thousand people screaming in Madison Square Garden, including my brother and him were on either side of him. There's all these people, and he's out cold like this, just, and I'm like, that man can sleep anywhere. <laughs> that is grown man sleep right there. Yes. Damn, I'm shout not out to him. That's... No interest, right? Like, <laughs> Could not care less. Literally the peak, like, this is what everyone paid to see. They're oh, waiting dude. on. The, Everybody's standing up. He still talks about this other time. He's still bitching. Funny, I'm sorry, can we, you, you don't mind, Kurt. All right. So, he, uh. He maintains that we tricked him, right? We wanted to, my brother and I wanted to go see ECW. Mm-hmm. 
And oh, EC wow. so ECW <laughs> was having a pay per view in Poughkeepsie, New York, which is like not really. It's like a it's like an hour or something away. It's like kind of far. It's not too bad. Like maybe an hour or two away. Or and two. So that means it's yeah, two hours away. it's been two. I hours didn't hear that. At no, first. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now it's. Yeah, it's about two hours. You tried to away. trick me, so I'm on yeah. your dad's side already. Yeah, right. I'm already. <laughs> I, I'm deceiving you like we deceived him. And he maintains that we told him Hulk Hogan was going to be there, and he thought oh. it was going to be WCW. <laughs> so he drives us all the way out there, like two hours to Poughkeepsie. We get it's in like the worst neighborhood, right? Yeah, it's ECW. So. Yeah, so we get there. It's in like this terrible neighborhood. We stop to like go eat at this random bar thing. It's like. Like these kids on bikes are like circling the car, like our car. It was like, <laughs> like a, it was, a yeah, it was like a weird thing. And they're like, what is, they were like, I think they were trying to, they're like trying to see if my dad was a cop, like, or they're trying to figure out like who, like who's this random like guy they never seen. Yeah. This neighborhood? So what a great sign before right? you even get in. So we go, we, we then we go to the building, and you know, in ECW, people used to bring weapons, right? Yeah. So we're on the line, we're oh, walking wow. on the line. These people have all these weapons and like stop signs. My dad's like. We're not going to let these people in with all these weapons, are they? So he's already, like, he's already sniffing something. Yeah, he's, he's red like, flags are going he's like, he's like, Hulk Hogan's going to be at this, like, a hundred, uh, this, like, thousand, per, he's, like, he's like, like, he's starting to put the dots to him. He's like, what's going on? And we go in, and it's just, like, anarchy in there. And he's just like, what is this? <laughs> he's like, I th thought I was going to see Hulk Hogan okay, at he's least. He's probably terrified. He, what is going on? He hates wrestling as it is. And it's like, like, that's ECW, what I was going to say. Like, wrestling, why does it, um, if you hate wrestling, why does it care that Hulk I guess that's the biggest I guess, person. yeah, I guess he, I guess he, he was, he could, I guess in all his other trips, he was mildly entertained by Hulk Hogan. <laughs> so I guess he figured out, oh, like, I guess I'll watch that. Yeah, but that's like was, going to stand up like Kevin Hart better fucking be Yeah, <laughs> like, yep. You're like, oh no, it's like. Did he yeah. buy the tickets? Yeah. Well, how do you even read them? Then? I don't you know. You know you're like ECW, WCW, three letters, wrestling. It's all I the guess. same. Because that's back when you had to, when they weren't on your phone. So you had no, to there was like a get physical ticket. So you had to read it. That's and then we funny. didn't drive home two hours. He's like, what the fuck was that? His heart was probably racing. <laughs> yeah, I just remember he, he had this panicked look on his face. He's like, they're not going to let these people in with all these weapons, are they? That's crazy. He's like, uh, the guy, they're at the door. People are having their two by fours, like, jacked at the door. Steel chairs. Yeah. Stop signs. Literally, yeah, there were people with stops. Like he's like, "What's going on?" He had no idea. He's like, that's Why crazy. Are these people that's weapons? that's crazy enough. If you know what's going on, if you don't have no clue, and you walk up to the it's arena like, and people mm -hmm. have weapons to go in, it's like, what is about to happen? Like, oh yeah, am I going to get hit with this shit when I go in? He's a fucking trooper, man. Like the <laughs> amount of like r events that he's sat through that he has had no interest in, like they took us to and <laughs> kids. Like, even concerts. Like, he used to take me to concerts when I was in, like, middle school. Like, That's he sat up. through, like, the Hard Knock Life tour, which was Jay-Z, DMX, Method Man, and Red Man. <laughs> oh, and, like, wow. and Ja Rule. Like, like this, is in, this is up here. So yeah. Yeah. This is like their home, so that yeah. shit is, I could imagine. I've been to Lil Wayne and shit like that in yeah. the South, so oh, I can I imagine. Bet. And like, yeah, like, he's like, people are like filling in the stairs, and everyone's like jumping up and down, <laughs> and we're all like there, and I'm loving it. My dad's like, what's, like, he is what just is sitting this? there, like, what's going on? Yeah, so he'll sit, like, I give him credit, he's a That's trooper. love right there. Yeah. He went in the trenches with y'all. Oh, hell yeah. Times. Like, I, I took, he took me to Marilyn Manson, like, oh, oh yeah, I mean, like, from the gamut <laughs> of, like, going from, like, the Jay-Z Hard Rock Live show to Marilyn Manson and Hole, where there was a band that opened up called Nashville Pussy. <laughs> I remember him, I was like, he was like, what? Man? That's just, funny. Uh, he's just that one. He did, he was like that was interesting. <laughs> he kept being <laughs> like, oh, he's like, oh, this. Thing. He just kept saying that Marilyn Manson ripped off Alice Cooper. Mm. That was his like, oh, he's just doing like an Alice Cooper thing. And I'm like, well, if anybody knew who that, that was, that shows what yeah. he was into. Though. Yeah, that's like, what okay. got him. So he's yeah. like, oh, I remember shit like this. He was like, okay. Yeah, it's funny. So I'm like, he's a he's a good Jesus. He's, he's a trooper. I give him credit. <laughs> he sat through some. So like I wouldn't want to sit through a bunch of stuff. I like I took a girl to a country music and that was bad enough. Like that's a girl though. Girls yeah, don't, girls don't care. No, <laughs> they'll let you know. I've taken some girls to some big stuff and they didn't give a fuck. No, I'm like I sat. I'm not a big country music fan. That was miserable sitting there <laughs> listening to to a whole night of like actually Darius Rucker part wasn't that bad. But like the opening acts in country because I'm like I'm like I don't have any interest in. I mean any I hate country. I, I hate it so with I a passion, bro. 
I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm not a country music fan. Bro, we went, when we went to the Dream yesterday, we saw a MetLife Stadium that you saw. Me, and I was like, Morgan Wallen did this shit like a month ago. I was like, fucking that many people like country music. Bro, here, right? No, not even here. I was in Baton Rouge when fucking Garth Brooks came last oh, year wow. and did Tiger Stadium. He filled a, a stadium with 100,000 people for fucking country music. Wow. Bro, when I we had a, we did a show that night. When I tell you nobody came to that show because they were all at they Garth, was all at Garth Brooks, the city was a ghost town. And he's like, <laughs> and like he like when's like he's not like at the is he still like I don't is he still considered to be like I guess. he was like the the king. I guess it's one of those things where like he was the best for so long. Like I it's guess. just like a, I don't get it, but I don't. My daddy likes Garth Brooks, so he did. But that was the only person I had ever heard talk about Garth Brooks till that night. It's funny because, like, for for a hundred years when growing up, there was no country music around here. The, like, we only knew of like, we, I knew Garth Brooks existed just through uh, like yeah, I knew like the big big people, yeah, there, Kenny but, Chesney, yeah, like that. There was no like, but now it's like my brother. You would think my brother grew up in Louisiana. That's all he listens to is country music. I heard, I've heard it's becoming more like pop though. Like, it, it's, it's all not, it's just pop music now. Yeah. It's 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 like they just now. It's just like pop rock with a with an accent <laughs> is all it is. It's like I think Taylor Swift is t- technically country. Music yeah, now, it's so like come on. I don't get it, but yeah, Garth Brooks. Fuck Garth Brooks because he fucked that show up that night. Bro, traffic was bad for three hours. No, from the time that concert ended till three in the morning. It was like a football game, basically. Oh, I believe it because there was a hundred thousand people in there. Oh, it was crazy for three man. hours at Garth. I got friends in low places. Brooks. And he has he has a song was like calling Baton Rouge or something. Because they played at all the LSU games. Shout out to LSU. And all they right. go crazy when they play oh, a song I at bet. LSU. So I, that was one of the reasons we knew. I think it, it was it came up on the Richter scale. It was that crazy. Damn. Yeah, it came up on the Richter What'd scale. What did you think of that American Dreams place? It's big as fuck. I've been there like four times. I got lost in that it's month. Still em- like it's still half of it's empty, right? Like half of it's still... Kind of, but it's so big you don't it, notice. Right? Like it's crazy. Was the Mr. Beast Burger have like a crazy line when you were there? I don't think so. Well, I don't know because <clears throat> th- I don't think we passed it this time. I went there. Well, I've only been there like once. It's... And the, there was a in line like crazy <laughs> at that Mr. Beast Burger. Yeah. And I remember just walking down. I'm walking with my dad. And my dad has no idea what any of this is. Like and I'm just like... And I just kept whispering, like, loudly so that the people on the line would hear. And I just kept going, yeah, so I, I heard Mr. Beast was here, like, about a couple minutes ago. <laughs> He's on his way to yeah. <laughs> And my dad's just like, why do you keep saying that? Like, well, you've said that five Stop times. Like, shut the f- I don't know. Who is it? Why Why do we do you say? Like, my dad's like, do you want to go see him? Where is he going to be? And I'm like, <laughs> he's like, I'm like, no, I'm trying to incite a ride on the thing. And then the crazy thing is, like, two weeks later, somebody did that somewhere, and it caused a riot, and they got arrested. And I was like, I could have been the idiot in jail for I'm, that. I'm glad you did. Your daddy, no. would, your daddy would have stopped going places. Oh, place. no. Yeah, I've set him up so many you, times. You, you already brought him so much from what I've heard, and then you're going to bring him to like, a <laughs> fucking riot. And then I blame him. Yeah. I'm like, it was him. It was all him who did this. I didn't do any of this. It was my that dad. That would have been hilarious. But no, don't <laughs> They're do. hauling my dad off to jail for inciting a riot. I'll he was just trying that. to go to Best Buy. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> no, fuck that. That's funny. But yeah, bro, that place is crazy. They got a fucking ski lodge in there. A ski lodge, a water park, a Ferris wheel. Oh, yeah. They got a fucking arena that's getting built in there. It's, that shit is crazy. Everything but stores with clothes. <laughs> oh, no, they got that They too. got that now, right? They got fucking Zara and man. all this other shit. They got, man. It's crazy bro, they how got big it is. Literally everything in See, there. See, See, you're new to the area. They that for that they built that originally like twelve or fifteen years ago, and it sat <laughs> unopened and empty, and it was like sinking into the ground. Oh wow! Because uh, they built because that whole area is like swamp. Yeah, I can see that. The so Meadowlands. yeah, so they. It was just so funny because it sat like empty for like 15 years and then it was going to be open for the Super Bowl and then finally they got it open. <laughs> I heard there's like a, I keep seeing online people are going crazy. They've got like a, a Tamagotchi store. Yeah, 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 I've seen that. Apparently, like they just opened up that, like there was like a, a big crowd for the Tamagotchi store. We there. went, we went one day, and the line was long as hell for that place. That's how, that's the only reason I recognized what it was. Because like, like, why, why are all these people, people here? lined yeah. up, right? 
I like the dream though. Shout out. Like, I, 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 we didn't like it that day we got lost in it because we couldn't find out how the fuck we like. We oh. came in through the designer part, uh huh, and we had never came in through that way before. And then it was time to leave. We was like, how the fuck did we get? Bro, we walked for like twenty minutes trying to find out how to get out of there. Could you imagine the nightmare of going there on a day when they have a when the Giants or Jets are playing on a Sunday and trying was, to go there? I was oh. picturing what that would look like. Or any concert, really, because I'm assuming they always park in that same garage. They do park, like... And then they that's... sometimes they'll throw the arena parking over there. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. All right, enough of the drink. Yeah. Back Sorry, to I sidetracked. No, that was that. me. That was me. We were it, it was flowing, so I was going with it. We got to talk about you. So, you talked about uh, watching SNL and stuff like that when you were growing up. So, what decide, What finally made you think stand-up comedy was attainable? What made you want to actually go and try it? Um, I started going to like, I, I went to see a couple of stand up. Like oh, okay. I went to go see, uh, Anthony Jeselnik. Good one. I saw Jim Norton. Okay. And who was the other one I saw? Anthony Jeselnik. Oh, I saw, we went to LA Ooh. with my family, right? On like a vacation. And one night I was like, oh, can we go to the comedy store? I got nice. it like... And I, I wanted to see Chris. It was I saw Chris D'Elia, uh Jeff Ross, hmm. Ari Spears, good like people. like some really good funny. Yeah, yeah, it was like a really a crazy good lineup, and it was so much fun. And I was like, wow. I was like, you know, I'm like I would because like you know, I'm sure everybody who does comedy through their life people have been like oh hey you should i don't know why you, you should do stand up yeah. or so people like were always saying like you know people had been like be like why don't you ever try that or whatever and i was just like ah i did the radio i was trying the radio thing but yeah. at that point like i was done with radio it was kind of like whatever and i still had that urge to, like i still had that urge to do something creative mm -hmm. And I, but it was just like, again, like you just don't know how to get started with the, with the comedy. So we went to that and I was just like talking to some of the comedians like afterwards, oh, like, cool. I, like I took a picture with Jeff Ross, I took a picture with Ari Spears, I was talking oh. to them and I was like, oh, I used to do radio or whatever. And I was like, I was like, how, like, how did you get started? Like, you know, and they were, and they were just like, listen, I was like, I'm like, I've something I've always wanted. They're like, you just try it. They're like, I'm like, what do you mean? But how? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, did you take like that? They're like, you just, I'm like, they're like, no, just, it, you just got to do it. Like, it's just one of those things where I'm like, you, you just, once you, you just got to do it. Yeah. And so I was like, all right. And then I, I was like, oh, I'm like, well, I don't know how to do it. Not like Ari Spears, like does those amazing impressions and all that stuff. Oh yeah. Well, you got to work to get yeah. that. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. So I was like, I always kept that in the back of my mind, and I was like, I'm gonna get there. But that was how it started, really. Okay. Yeah, I had to find out through. I don't even remember. How, oh, movies. I found out when uh, Kevin Hart dropped his stand-up special, and he talked about going to open mics. And I was yep. like, what, what is the open mic? And that's how I found out. Yeah, I used to drive to Houston every uh, whenever I could and try to get on. So. Cause I'd always seen, like, I don't know about in Louisiana, but like. Most of the open mics, now it's funny, like, now I don't see any open mics, really, for music or poetry, right? They're, I very rarely see those. Well, like, years ago, I felt like the, when, I, when I was a kid or in high school, I those see. were the only open mics. Like, the, <laughs> the, like the coffee place would have a poetry or a music open mic, and they, but they weren't in, like, and it would specifically be, like, no comedy. Oh, know? wow. Or, like, you know what I mean? I've never like, seen it like want, that. Like, yeah. <laughs> So it was odd. So like when I heard open mics, I'm like, what do these? What do they mean? Like in front of the music people <laughs> who have no sense of humor and take everything so seriously. The ones that say no comedy. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> so like I didn't even like the whole idea that they had all these. I didn't even realize. Yeah, they didn't have open mics at all in where I was from. Like I didn't. I had never even heard so of. So you that were shit. driving to Houston. Yeah. How long of a drive is that? Two hours. Still, that's a, like. Two hours to get two. to do a bucket uh, draw. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. You might not even get on. Yeah, I got I had a good couple. I had a couple nights when I was first trying. I didn't get on. See, you really earned it. I guess. I like didn't, I that's just, like our, I like, was just trying. I was that just... see like, but that just showed like, you're like, you know how like ninety percent of people right there would have knocked them right out of it. Yeah. The fact that you were even willing to like, 
is amazing. That just shows like how much you like truly were interested. I think uh, I was very. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was very. I was very eager to see what it was. What it was like. And then yeah, once I got on, I did okay. It was funny. I did good the first time, then I bombed the second time. But I kept going back. Mm -hmm. Isn't that like? Yeah. It's almost funny. It's like is that. I don't know which is worse, if to bomb right the first time or to do well the first time. Because if you do well the first time, you, you like start to expect that yeah. that's going to be, and then, then it's like, well, you wouldn't even know. You know. I think it was good though that it happened the second time, not that like, like I did good the first two, three times. Then I would have got used oh, to it. Oh yeah, you're like, it wait, wait, no, everybody loves me. Yeah, it was what like, like no, they don't. As <laughs> soon as I had, I thought that, it was like, no, they don't. When I think about like some of the stuff, like. Like early, like before I ever did a mic, or even like I thought you could like try doing, and I'm like, oh god, if I ever tried that, it would be so bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I'm like one of these days, I should just like try to find like that old notebook or like the, oh, those terrible it? old ideas and just do them to see how bad it is in real life. <laughs> well, hopefully, it's supposed to. You, when you look at those now, you would be you would be able to instantly look at them and be like, I know how to make this. Better. Make it better, right? So that would, that would be the thing. That, apparently, that's how you're supposed to do it. Because, like, they always say don't throw away jokes. That way you can just look at them later with fresh eyes. There I, I'm, there are a couple times where I'm glad I didn't just completely give up on stuff. Yeah, because like, you can always get, go back to it and be like, oh, shit, I know, I know a different way to look at this sound. Which is good that I brought up my first mic. No, te yeah, that was my first mic, technically. Because so, I like to ask other guests, do you remember the first time you got on stage? Oh, and do you remember yes. how it went? I do. I remember. <laughs> I, I do. Oh, there was. Okay. So, there was this. Actually, I don't know. You probably, I don't, you probably, I don't know if you know Jesse. You probably don't know Jesse Montanez. Probably. Yeah, Jesse. <laughs> oh, that's how I fucking met Jesse, who, who, who I see at shows all the time. But, like, it was a. Like a bar show. Okay. Like a bar open mic in, might have been in Garfield, actually. Shout out, to, I was in Garfield earlier. Yeah. Shout out to Garfield. Shout out to Garfield. That, oh God. And it was, it was so bad. <laughs> I, I was so nervous. And then like, the anxiety, I, I remember, mm. I almost, I drove around outside like six times like and I kept being like I'm like about to park and be like oh it's spot's too small and I was like as if I was trying to find a reason to leave yeah like, oh, I'm I, like, can't oh park I can't nowhere. fucking park I gotta go like I tried next uh, week yeah <laughs> like I, as if I was trying to do like baby steps to mm. get him like well next week we'll park the car and then we'll drive away you, was, so, you had the excuse but you was doing it like just in case somebody saw you yeah so I'm like <laughs> So eventually, I, so I'm already like a, a disaster. So I, I park and I go in. And I, like, I don't know where the sign up is. And mm. I'm like trying to awkwardly like, and I'm just like, I bumped into somebody and they spilled a drink. So I'm already Great like. sign. Yeah. So it's already bad. <laughs> the vibes is up. Yeah. And I'm like, the scene is so much friendlier now. Really? Oh, God. <laughs> when I like, before COVID, when I first started, like, oh my God, it was so unfriendly. Like, I don't, a lot of these people, I don't even, I don't see them, so they all must have dropped off. Mm. It, like, COVID must have knocked the last bit of them off. <laughs> Their will. Yeah. Or they moved. Yeah, oh God, everybody was such a prick. <laughs> and they were so like, it was like, there's not a finite number of laughs available in the room. Yeah, we're like, not competing. No, it's this yeah. weird thing, like, we, I, if I'm funny, doesn't mean that you're not funny. If you're funny, yeah. doesn't mean that I'm less funny. Yeah, we're not. It's not. A, we're not competing. It's. It was just. It was so. It was such a miserable experience. Oh God, I think about it, and I didn't do great. Mm. My material wasn't great, and most of it was. It wasn't as even my material because so, some of those jokes I think I still do right, or I still have, <laughs> or like, or I'll pull out every once in a while. Uh -huh. It was just my lack of confidence. Yeah, that's a big thing. People were like, if you, you look like you're a hostage up there. <laughs> yeah. you tell how nervous you are. You're, if, just, if you calm down, relax, and be smoother. Yeah, if you enjoy was, yourself. Yes. Yeah. People were like, allow yourself to enjoy yourself. Like, allow your, you know. No one's making you be here. No, yes. Like yeah. And then another time I did, oh, this was a Valentine's, like this third set I did. Mm. 
maybe. How much time did you do at the first one? I think I was supposed to be up there for five minutes. I probably because that was at the time where I'm practicing in a mirror with a timer, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Like I'm like, oh, I got my little I know exactly how got my little routine memorized here. We run it down. It's five minutes exactly. We've done this a million times. But then when you get up there, yep, and you get up there and you start racing it out. <laughs> Two you're minutes. Like, and you're like, oh no, what am I gonna do? So that's exactly what happened. So I, I'm probably, I, I probably came in at like two minutes. Yeah. Like I raced through it, I like trampling over probably any bit of laughter there might have been to get to like race to the next thing. Which anytime I ever do that, it never works either. It's, no, it's whatever not. I'm racing to doesn't hit, and it's like I should have let them enjoy this. And yeah, now if you don't just, give, if you don't let it breathe, it's not gonna work. Oh, if they're that, just fucking like Jesus Christ. This dude's that was my biggest problem. Yeah. It's still a problem of mine, but like. At the start, was I was like, I, as if I was gonna, ref, uh, uh, like, forget my routine. So That's I had to race too. ahead and go and just yeah. keep going. I'm like, no, 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 I'm so used to having everything. In my home You're alone, fucking... there was no pause for laughter. <laughs> just going through it, just reading it, basically. Oh, dude, I did an Italian, uh, Italian restaurant on Valentine's Day. They had an, a mic on Valentine's Day at the bar an area of an restaurant. Italian restaurant. In Fairlawn, New Jersey. Shout out, keep it local, baby. We dropped Fairlawn and Garfield in I've here. I've been to Fairlawn. Right? So it's like a, it's Valentine's Day. There's a woman crying at the bar. She is Somebody hating everybody, <laughs> by the way. She is hated well, yeah, every kind. She probably got broken up with yes. at the bar on Valentine's like, yeah, Day. And I'm like, Somebody telling a dick joke right yeah, on side yeah, of her. And I'm like, who's the monster breaking up with people on <laughs> Valentine's Day? You, you can't suck it up for another day. Yeah, that's like, it, Right? And so you probably, I don't know, I'm making sense. And sir, you ruined that mic for all of us <laughs> comics. I want you to show. know what you've done, sir. There's artist that might have never recovered from this so she is miserable this is like the second time i think or the third time i'm going up mm. and i made her laugh oh that's good and she like chuckled and like she was like you were like good and i like that was the time where i was like okay this is fun <laughs> and then i was like okay okay i could do i think i could and that's oh, yeah. what got like it went like i got a little taste of like what did it do yeah it did. It the good you, you got the good side that's what's up. That's a good story. You made you you turned a broken heart for a couple. I of took seconds. pride in that, like, cause she hated like everybody up to that point. It made me feel good. I was like, I'm like, if I got this lady to like, I actually was on stage and I heard her chuckle. I was like, oh sweet, like, all right, I nice. got this. That was that might as well have been a standing ovation. That's still the highest. I break. still die. I'm like there. I'm like there are times where I'm like, wish I could get that lady back again. Where's that lady? <laughs> Can someone break up with their girlfriend, please? Please, I mean, let me rescue somebody in here, right? Let me be your hero, lady. That's the formula. Yeah, so and now there's so much. The mics are so much different. I feel like, mm -hmm. but oh man, they were miserable then. Or maybe it was just because I was so new and nervous, and I didn't know anybody. Well, and, combination. Yeah. <laughs> I turned everybody into like this big villain. I still die off like it. And I'm like, and Jesse Montanez is the only person that was nice to me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm turning Jesse into this hero. I'm like, Jesse was the only one that was fucking nice to me. And Jesse was like, bro, dude, I wasn't that nice. <laughs> I just said, hey. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, no, Bob. I'm like, everybody was so shitty, Jesse, that you doing the absolute bare minimum all you had to was, do. was all I needed. <laughs> you looked my way, and that's all I had, all I needed. Yeah, it was so funny because I, I, I stopped. Like, I hadn't seen him for a while. I stopped doing, like, stand-up for, like, like, well, it was, like, COVID, and my mom was dying, so I was hoping to take care of her, so I wasn't, really wasn't going out much or doing anything, and then COVID, there wasn't anything going on. And as soon as I had, I started Nothing a Sacred Comedy Night, he was the first person I said to him, I'm like, hey, I don't know if you remember <laughs> me from, like, like, a couple years, like, two years ago or whatever, but, like, I'm doing a show now, man. Like, I fucking, I, I need you on it. Can you do it? And he was like, yeah. And I'm just good. like, yeah. I was like, I, I, go, I don't forget. You know what I mean? I'm like, you were good to me, Jesse. He like, you know? Okay. He's like, hey, yeah, I'll do your show. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Fucking headline, right? <laughs> I'm like, you've got it, Jesse. Because he was still, like, he was still doing his thing. Like, he stayed, like, he does the dojo a lot and um 
in Morris Plains or whatever, the Dojo Comedy. Uh, oh, I've, dro- I've driven past that place. Have before. you been over there yet? I haven't mm-hmm. been there yet. My I brother, know. my brother, who's never seen one of my Nothing Is Sacred comedy nights, has been to the Dojo. <laughs> by the way, but he does live up that way. So oh, we got an excuse. Yeah, well, that's still too much though. Of an excuse. Yeah, still yeah. try. Yeah, it's you can family. take a ride. <laughs> you <Your> I grew up <laughs> yeah. with you. Yeah. Now, Nothing is Sacred. Did you come up with the name of that while, like, scrolling through Twitter? Oh, wow. There's nothing is sacred on Twitter. Yeah, no. This was like, we were, I was originally going to be, it was originally going to be like a podcast that I was looking to do with my friend that I do the comedy shows with. Mm -hmm. And uh, he does them, like, embroidery. Originally, we were, it was going to be like a podcast and we're going to try to make it like an artist collective. Oh, okay. So, like, you know, like, I just doing, like, comedy and the podcast he was he does like embroidery and like you know uh screen printing or whatever and we're nice. like yeah you know if any you know artists people want to join in or whatever yeah like that you kind do of everything thing. yeah like a little bit of everything and we were like trying to we couldn't figure out a name we were actually gonna like i'm so glad we didn't because everybody who signed at this place and nothing happened this like uh it was like uh they were like he actually produced a bunch of songs for like Lil Wayne, Beyonce, Eminem, oh. or whatever. Does music, but he was looking to like expand his thing mm-hmm. and add in podcasts or whatever. So we were going to be like the first podcast. So we needed a name, and just for some reason, I like we were trying to like th- like think of something. I was trying to think of something that would like fit, and I was like, like nothing is sacred came because I was like that like. With the aesthetic and vibe that we were going for. Like, nothing is sacred. Like, anything goes. <laughs> like, we're tossing out the fucking rules. Like, I like that. no one, like, we're just going to go. Like, it's like, you know, you know we're not going to take ourselves too seriously. Nothing is sacred. Like, you can shit on us. Like, yeah. everything goes. Like, you know, we're, we're all for it. Like, we don't take anything too seriously. I like that. I like that. That's a good... And it was we're like, it gives you something like an, an expectation. And we're like, well... Like, how can you be offended? We said nothing is fucking <laughs> yeah. sacred. Like, it's right you, there on the It's shirt. like on the thing. Like, yeah. what do you want? I like that. That's, that's creative. Yeah, so I always... And then, then we ended up not doing... We were going to sign, like... I was going to sign, like, a contract. Mm. Thank God for my my the, my partner. And at T, he was like, don't sign anything. Let's wait a second. He doesn't even have the equipment yet. Like... <laughs> Let them get something. Yeah, to we, and it, we ended up, and like a couple other people we know, like signed on to do other stuff, like DJ or whatever, and they were like taking money from the. It just it wasn't mm-hmm. a good thing, and so we we ended up not doing it, and then so we were like, we got the name, so then we made it into like, I made it into like we made it into like an Instagram page to start out, and mm-hmm. we started doing like some test episodes of the po- of a podcast like early on. But I could never get like a co-host. I, I I wanted someone to do it with, and I could never get like a. Like, I could never get a steady co-host, so I just kind of... That is tough. Yeah, switched <laughs> it over to doing, like, the Instagram page, and we're, like, kind of, like, doing memes and stuff. And then I started writing, like, fake news articles. Oh, okay. Like, parody news articles. Like, like The Onion? Yeah, like, one of them was, like, uh, Willy Wonka was arrested for, like, uh, dwarf breeding and trafficking, like, and I like, a whole thing. Mm-hmm. Like, and just different shit, like... Uh, like, they were just satiring, like, different news or whatever, like, yeah. different stuff at the time. Like, that was fun. And that was, like, uh, right until I started, uh, so we were doing that, and that was right when I was, like, I need to get back into doing comedy again. My mom had passed. I was, like, wallowing and, like, just, mm. I was, like, and I hated my job. Like, I had, like, I hated my job. I had no creative outlet at this point. My mom had passed, and I was like, I need something. Like, I need to... I was doing, like, a lot. And also, with Nothing is Sacred, we were also doing, like... I was going to a lot of concerts and into that. So I was filming the concerts and putting the videos up on YouTube. But that's, like... wasn't really itching my creative side. And mm-hmm. I was like, I need something. And I was like... And that's when I got back into the... St- I remember my mom being like... Uh, my mom always encouraged me to do it. Oh, that's good. Yeah, she was like... She's like, oh, she's like, just do it. Like, try it or whatever. And I remember she she bought me this. I, I was like, oh, I'm like the writing or whatever. And uh, at uh, Gotham Comedy Club, she did, she found this on her own. This was like right before she died, too. Uh, she Online. They were having like a writing class. Oh. And she 
signed me up for it and bought it and signed me up for it. Damn. And was like, go to the writing class. Hell yeah. And that that's what got me going. Yeah, and I and I went and and it got me back in. And nice. that, that gave me the kickstart I needed, and I've just been back at it since. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's cool as fuck. Yeah, so I think so I would I wouldn't have never I would have probably never gone back in if she hadn't have done that. Yeah, shout out. Shout out to her. That's what's up. I've been to Gotham a couple of times. It's a cool looking club. I got to, yeah, I got it. There. And part of the writing class was you got to do a show there too. Oh, cool. So I got to do like a, a five minute set at Gotham, which is super cool. Like, nice. not how many people could say they've been out there. Like, you got to perform like Seinfeld, Gotham. like all these major legends have been there. Yeah, you got to be on the same stage. Yeah. Like Artie Lang, who I love, one of my favorites there. Like, a bunch of people. Cool. It's like playing in fucking Madison Square Garden. Right? Like, like for that. comics, right? Yeah. Uh, Gotham, The Cellar, well, Caroline's Before It Closed would have been up there. You got to go to the comedy store, too? Yeah. I, nah, I would love to do the comedy store. One of the, like, I heard L.A. is super hard to get stage time, if you're... Really? Right. I can believe I can imagine. All the fucking famous people that yeah, live out there. Yeah, and there's there. not, like, and it's, everything's far away, I guess. Oh. They say in, like, the city, I guess you can go spot to spot to spot. Oh, in New York? Yeah. Yeah, and we're in L.A. I guess they're just like an hour, or half an hour yeah, away. Yeah, traffic. And I think they also, like, if you work this one, you can't do this one. They oh, do really? a lot of that shit, too. And also, oh, there's thanks. so many famous people out there. Like, I I think it's much easier to get stage time around this area. Mm, I would say. I don't know. I don't, I've never been in L.A. I can't compare it. It's pretty easy getting time in, in Louisiana also, though. There's not as much, like, I, not as frequently, I would say. Like out here, you can do multiple mics in a day and stuff. You can't do that in Louisiana. I was gonna say, what's the scene like there? It's nice. It's gotten better. It's getting better as the more uh, every fucking month. It's Theo like Vaughn 10 from months. from uh, Louisiana, right? Theo Vaughn, Mark Norman. Um, you like the Suicide Boys? This is off to- topic. You, you a fan of the Suicide Boys? I'm familiar Boys? with them. I love the Suicide <laughs> Boys. Like I like. Some I've of seen them live. Some like really. Seven times. Oh, okay. Like I, okay. like I go back. Like I remember, I saw their the first show they ever did in New York was with like Puya in like 2015 or 16. There was maybe like 150 people there, hmm. and now they did Madison Square Garden. Like you watched the whole come up. Yeah, that's what's up. I love them. I fuck with their music. I like. I mess with them. And I'm like they're Louisiana. I was like mm-hmm. I just because well, you know what made me think of them. Uh, Theo Vaughn had they just dropped a new album and Theo Vaughn had them on his podcast like this oh, week. Nice. And then I'm like, you're from Louisiana, and I was like, oh yeah. I know who that is, and I know like a couple <clears> songs, <throat> but I never really listened to them that hard, that heavy. Yeah. But yeah. Shout out to them. Yeah, got a good bit of comedians are from uh, Louisiana. Ellen DeGeneres is from Louisiana. Is she good old Ellen? I always throw that one out because no one knows it. Yeah. No. <laughs> It's just you, a very random. What one. do you? What do you? Big, you like Ellen, or is she? Is she like a big? Like, I didn't know Ellen was a comedian till she got canceled. Right. <laughs> I just knew her as the talk show host. But I mean, I guess I, I give her respect just because she came out of New Orleans and got as fucking big as she did. Is she like? Uh, is she considered to be like a big deal in New? In, no, not that Louisiana? I know. Of. Does anybody give a shit? Like, not that I know. Of. I mean, everybody is like. I'm pretty sure if she walked down the street, people would be like, "Oh shit, that's Ellen DeGeneres." Ellen, but like, nah, ain't nobody at home just talking about Ellen DeGeneres. Like, oh, you know, Ellen out there rapping for. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, it's not like mean? that. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, nah, we don't claim her like no. that. No. No, and she's not a nice lady. We've heard. Yeah, apparently, right? What? <laughs> I know. I can see that. Like that. Like that. Like over the top night. Like nobody's that yeah, over that's the, the like, thing. You fucking there's dance gotta on the be. TV and shit. Yeah, that's like, not there's true. gotta be. Like, uh, not everybody's all fucking smiles and sunshine all day. Yeah. Like you can't. It's gotta be. That probably the bit. Like I get. You know what? It probably makes like. Uh, Having to be so phony all the time probably <laughs> creates this like weird like resentment, I guess, or bitterness. Like, oh, I gotta be fucking. <laughs> it should just bottled up all day. Yeah, so like let it out eventually. Right, like she can't like because if she's out on the street, right, she's like, oh no, I think if they see, like, think about how fast her empire went down as soon as people figured out Wait. she wasn't nice, right? And there wasn't even video. It's not like there's video of her yelling at some lady on the street either. Yeah, it's like an article, right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank God it wasn't a video. She probably like, still wouldn't be. No, the way and the way they talked about her, like she was a real like. Well, same tyrant. thing happened to Martha Stewart. Yeah, I don't remember if she said it on video though. I don't remember what happened to her. No, did she go to jail? She went to yeah. She did jail too. Paula Dean. That's Paula what I'm Dean. To say. Yeah. Paula Dean. Paula Dean and the 
Girl. They got her ass up yeah, out of quick. Well, yeah, Paula. Didn't she? I think she had an N word incident. Uh, and I think I don't her, remember if she said it. If it was a video or if right? it was an article. And then, oh, she had that weird themed party. That was there wasn't there. There was another thing, right? I don't know if you remember. Oh, maybe. Oh, damn. she had <laughs> like a weird like. There was like a party where they had like a weird. It was it was it a slave? Not a slavery. Was it like an auction or some shit. It was like a very. <laughs> Poor taste, yeah, like get out themed, party. yeah. <laughs> and then they got her, like I think they were like, oh, the combination of this, like she almost weaseled out on the one thing, but yeah, then they're, they're like, like, oh, hold on, bitch. hold on, <laughs> you had a weird party, we caught it. What's this party? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, never mind. Strike Paula Dean deserved it. Pa- yeah, strike her off the record. Paula Dean. All right. Well, um, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ellen. I don't know. I lost my train of thought with Paula Dean. I didn't yeah, know she right? threw a racist party. I, I, I imagine. I, I imagine this comes out in like six months. I get a, a letter from Paula <laughs> Dean where she's suing me because that's actually not accurate. I'm confusing her with somebody else. She's like, "You've ruined my. I finally rehabilitated my image, and nah. you took me down, sir." You were still canceled. Yeah. I can't tell you shit. Paula Dean is no. doing right now. Nobody knows what Paula Dean's up to. <laughs> Um, and then they oh, and then the best, the the worst, least cool outrage was then they then they were like, I guess so, like the people, all the media outlets were piling on, like trying to like how awful she was, and then somebody piled in with, and her recipes aren't healthy. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, well, out of all the things she's done, <laughs> that's the, shit about thing. the thing. Like, that's the, the that you're that so late even... to the party that that's the article you wrote. Well, and she's not healthy. There's <laughs> we, too much butter in that pound cake. We know. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we like about yeah, her. Yeah, that's why we ate her food. <laughs> yeah, that's the she one made cool like thing. actual food that you like, like not like that weird pretentious food. Sometimes they make on the Food Channel. Yeah, where I'm like, so I'm not gonna eat it. I forgot yet. who it was. One comedian had the thing like we could. We got mad at her for saying the N-word, but she taught me how to fry chicken. <laughs> I forgot who it was. It was a black comedian, though. So, yeah, it was, that was, it was, it made sense, but you can't do that. No. <laughs> it's okay, but no. Not on, you can't get caught saying that no. shit. No. She wasn't, she was up there. Though. Dude, I, let me tell you something. If I'm singing along to songs at a concert, I and I know that that's coming up. I don't say the word before it, and I don't say the word after it, just so that way there's no mis- like there's not even a mistaking that that I'm even uttering it singing along. I didn't say bitch or, or yeah no or I'm, I'm there I, I didn't there, say there's real. a two buffer word a two word buffer between the N word and any song I'm singing where I don't go anywhere near it. I'm like I'm not gonna have some guy turn around and he thinks he <laughs> he's catching me the tail end and I'm like no 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 I, I didn't I'm say like, any of those no. words. It's so funny. I'll be singing along to the song, and I'm like, "Up, oh, it's coming up." <laughs> That's just like us. You do it on like the highway. That take you give them two cars, yep. two car lengths behind. I'm like, nope. As a two word, uh, yeah. two word buffer when I'm singing rap songs. Don't want to, don't want to get caught. No. Don't want to slip up. No. You know, I don't, don't want to get a punch in the face. No. <laughs> That's my worst nightmare at a concert. Someone's gonna turn around. They're gonna, I'm gonna be singing along. What did you say? Go ahead. I'm like, no. Yeah, because at this point they they don't even they don't even. The worst is when they chance. bring them up, the white people up on the stage to sing along, <laughs> and I'm like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Well, don't. you should know if you get on stage, no. you should know by that point. You shouldn't get, I you could get caught up, but you know. I laugh right and be like, oh, no, nah, I will sing every like, no, mm-hmm. I need to work again. Are you gonna hire me <laughs> after this? Like, no. He's gonna he gonna rat because he he he's the one that's gonna send you back into the crowd. I know it's like we're well, not gonna <laughs> say it. who's gonna escort me out of this building tonight. Uh, he might push you off the stage depending on who it is. Right? I saw him. Chief Keef set somebody up good. I saw <laughs> that was funny. I love Chief Keef because every time I've tried to see him live, he doesn't show up. Really? <laughs> yeah. I tried to see him live like four times. All I wow. want to do is jump up and down to fucking finito and don't like. <laughs> all right, and I can't get it. He will Damn. not give me that pleasure. He don't He's show no up. show. He no showed Rolling Loud two days in a row. Damn. He was supposed to do Friday night. He didn't <laughs> fucking show up. He then they're like, okay, he'll do Sunday. I'm sitting there Sunday waiting for him for his set, and he doesn't show up to that one either. Wow. It's like, come on, man. I've never been to a concert where they didn't show up. That's crazy. I would be so fucking mad. Thank, at least there was other stuff like going on then, but I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? How does he never show up every time I'm supposed to see yeah, him? Yeah, four times. Four to not times. Show up is crazy. Four times. 
It's crazy, right? I wouldn't even be a fan anymore. No, I saw. <laughs> and then the crazy thing is that every time after that, he showed up. <laughs> so I, it's like it's just not meant. I'm not meant to see Finito. Something to be. <laughs> and I love that. That's the one song where he disses the entire state of New Jersey in it. Really? Yeah, he's like, I'm riding through New York, about to shoot oh, New yeah. Jersey up. <laughs> Trying to t- I, first of all, That's they funny. did take his chain, by the way. He's lying. <laughs> he's absolutely lying because I know the story because it was a huge story in this area. He got you know? some girl, some guy, some somebody's girlfriend pregnant huh. in New Jersey, and they were not happy about it. <laughs> and he, and that's she set chain? him up. And and they took his chain. They had his chain for a little bit. I saw it. Man. There were pictures floating around. His baby mama. And I don't even know if she really... I don't know what the hell. And then... So then that was like a weird thing. So that's the origins of that beef <laughs> and that song. And that's like, funny. It's so weird. Like, like if you... like, I listened to that part too, but I've never put it to... I, I, yeah. I never listened to that song since I've been out here. So yeah. I've never put that together. Riding through New York. About to shoot New Jersey up. <laughs> that's funny. Try to take my chain and go. Man, we're about right. to blow New Jersey up, <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll be at like concerts. Everyone's like, "We're about to blow New Jersey up." <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, we're in New Jersey. Yeah. He's talking about us. us. He's dissing us. Yeah, that's, it's, that's how good of a song it is. We're like, "Fuck New Jersey! <laughs> Jersey sucks!" Yeah, Deep in the heart of Jersey. Yeah, we're in New Jersey, going like, "Yeah, riding through New York, we suck." Yeah, we fuck Jersey. Up. Damn right. <laughs> That's a sub. Shout out Chief Keep. Yeah, guess. that was super bad. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, you talked about some of the comedians you grew up listening to. Can you name your five favorite comedians? All right. I, I'll be asking people this, and then I realize when they ask me, I always fuck it up. So it's okay if you name a little bit more than five, but okay. top five. All right. George Carlin. Okay. Because as a kid, I used to watch George Carlin. Because like, his specials would be like on Comedy Central. or He's like, got like 12 fucking specials. Yeah, That's so there they were like on. And I was, he was always like, so, I just so like, I wish I could be as brilliant as him. Like the way he like, like oh, I wish like I could, like the way he looks at stuff and like Drawn breaks stuff down. Yeah, it. I'm just like, oh. I'm like, that's some skill right there. Yeah. He's not talking about, like, oh, like, being fat and delusional. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, he's got, like, real, like, you like, have a real. Favorite Carlin special? Yes. It's the one um, from, I think it's the one he shot in New Jersey, actually. Okay. It's from, like, 1986 or 7. Fuck, why can't I think of the name of it? It's not the one that he's got like the famous like the the seven dirty words bit, but uh, yeah, Carlin's got my number one for sure. Eddie yeah. Murphy, oh god, Eddie Murphy, I love like Eddie Murphy, Delirious, like yeah. love watching the like raw. Oh, Eddie, like can't beat Eddie Murphy. Chris Rock all the time as a kid, especially Chris Rock because he was like right around the time we also he was like. I, we finally got HBO at my house, like oh, after so all was... these years. And he had his Chris Rock TV show on HBO at that point, and he had like his specials were on. Like he was Mr. HBO. Yes. <laughs> so Chris Rock for sure. Um, nice. Jim Norton. I have to say, Jim Norton will always be Jim Norton will, will always be like one of my favorites. Bring it back to Chris Rock real quick. Yeah. How'd you feel when Will Smith slapped it on the Oscars? So mad. <laughs> so mad. I was, uh, we, me and Alana went and watched Bad Boys when it came out, and I was like, I like when, when it was over, I was like, this motherfucker slapped me. Yeah. I was like, I forgot that shit happened. I won't go see the new Bad Boys <laughs> because of that. I feel like more poor Martin Lawrence is catching a stray. Because, <laughs> but I'm like, fuck you, Will Smith. He, uh, he slaps the shit out of Will Smith like four times in the new Bad Boys. I was like, I wonder if this oh, is, okay. I wonder like, if this is like some like, insider baseball yeah, type joke. I hope so that because that was so lame i'm like yeah. and it was the most mild of jokes yeah it right? was not worth like, a slap at all no really? one even fucking cared no yeah i forgot i forgot that happened until like i it clicked in my head for some reason my best is was chris rock going like she hurt him way more than my joke did like <laughs> you know like it's like it's like rudy like no offense but like it was such a mild like yeah it was just a little throwaway joke throwaway like I don't know, that you should be more PG? mad like about your wife sleeping with Augustus Oslina or whatever. August right? Oslina. Yeah, why Nor- not? Shout out, New Orleans, yeah. Louisiana. Hell yeah. Good shout for out. him. I don't know why I always call him. He's another person. 
I pronounce his name wrong, too. It's okay. Poor guy. He got, like, completely, like, dragged in that whole thing. Did he? I don't really remember it, honestly. I didn't really care that much. No. Was going. I was just like, damn, this shit is wild that they putting this all and out. And then they did that weird interview, like, where she made him, like, do that weird podcast where... Yeah, he, where the meme like, came hum- from. Yeah, like, humiliating him more. Like, all right, we're going to sit and talk about it. Like, Yeah, we're going to explain it to Yeah, your it's face. like, no, nobody needs any of this. Just go home. Yeah, that was weird. All right, my bad. Keep going. Jim Norton? Jim Norton. That's three. That's three. Um... Try not to be like so, like you know. I uh, love uh, Bill Hicks. Uh, <laughs> you know, be, be, I, what, I know what, story you yeah, need. Yeah, you know what I mean. I got, uh, Richard Pryor. I love Richard Pryor too. Like, but like, he's another one. Like Richard Pryor and George Carlin. It's like, how could you not? If you love comedy, yeah, it's like how saying could you not LeBron like, or Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah they're both like great up there. They're understood. I used to love. Uh, you know, what I used to watch all the time Paul Mooney. Yeah, I like Paul I'd Mooney. Dig me some Paul Mooney. I'll tell you, I love Sam Kinison. Hmm. Okay. So, like, and I don't think anyone's ever said Sam Kinison. Sam Kinison, I like the, the the yelling and like the because I can be loud and like whatever. I, there's something about his like and uh, the his the loudness of him, and then just like uh, the way he because he he started out like when he was a kid, his his dad or I believe wanted him to be like a preacher. So we were training him to be like a like a Southern Baptist like preacher, and he just turned so he it into like comedy. turned like but so he's got like that like yeah that cadence and it's like super entertaining. That, when you do that right and you speak like that, that shit is very fun and it's to watch. Power, yeah, it's very attention. He's so funny because like when 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 Netflix came out and they were doing the Netflix streaming before they they had a hundred million original shows and movies, like they would have like every Sam Kennison special up. So I would watch. I, I would watch them, and I'm like, damn. I'm like, wow, because he was somebody who was always like, you would. I would hear through pop culture, but he was like, he was kind of like, he was. He died before I was like, when I was like yeah, a little before kid. Your time. So like, you know, it, well, I, I didn't have too much exposure other than just like seeing clips or whatever. So when I actually got a chance to see his stuff, yeah. I'm like, whoa, holy shit! Like he's actually really fucking good. That's good. It's good that it translated because sometimes it's like that, and you're like, I don't get this shit. Is no, like, uh, who is it? I tried to listen to because they're like, oh, this guy's fucking revolutionary, and I'm like, I don't get. Oh wow, uh, <sighs> Lenny Bruce. I think I've never listened. No, nah, it doesn't. <laughs> don't hold waste my time. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like. I guess for the time period, but like, I'm people like, people say nah. that with Eddie Murphy. Oh my, which what? I don't like because he. I get. I get the theory behind it, but it still holds up. Like they say, a lot of the shit that he said, you can't say now, but it's still funny. Oh, are you like? Are you like? I still think I love like him talking about like uh, going to see Rocky, and he's like, uh, and and, and, and with the yeah, Italians. with the Italian guy, the thing. <laughs> like, come on, like, how is that not funny? Yeah, well, not that per se, but like the other stuff about oh, like right. gay people and stuff like that. Hey, it's just jokes. Like it is, but you, they wouldn't let that shit fly. No, they're never that's, the, that's the argument. But I think Steve Harvey said that. But Steve Harvey, I don't know. People would say he was. People could say he's a hater. So it, it depends. Does, it's a, it's subjective. Have you ever met anybody that goes on a huge like I love Steve Harvey? <laughs> I haven't either. Right? I never. <laughs> uh, I like. Don't get me wrong. I've always wanted to be on the Family Feud. I like, oh like, yeah, I love Family Feud. Like, I like I, Steve Harvey, but yeah. Then, nah. But is he an, anybody's favorite? I've never anybody's passion. I never heard any like you know. I've never seen anybody in a Steve Harvey T-shirt. <laughs> or like, you know what I mean? Waiting out line. You know, waiting outside in the line and being like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, go gotta see meet Steve Harvey. Yeah. Anybody going to Steve Harvey next week? Oh man, outside with like a, the fit, like everyone online with fake mustaches on, like bald caps going, Steve, Steve, Steve. <laughs> speaking, this is way, this is a deep callback. But uh, speaking of you going to Royal Rumble at the Garden, WWE's going to be at the Garden uh, this week. Oh. For, uh, SmackDown. I'm still debating on if I want to go or not. Oh yeah. I literally want to go just so I can say I've been to wrestling in the Garden. garden. But I also don't want to go because I don't really watch SmackDown, so I feel like I'm not going to know shit that's going on. But I want to go just for the spectacle of it. The spectacle of it, right? It's a good time. Yeah, I would so. love to see. And then now, like, uh, a new Bloodline member just debuted, too. Yeah, but see, like, I don't know any of them. I yeah. knew all the original ones because yeah. they've been there. I don't, they're new, so I'm like, fuck, I don't know guys, any of these right? people. 
They all coming from like Japan and shit. Yeah. Like that. I'm like, I don't watch none of that shit. I don't watch any of that. Like, <laughs> I just know who they are because they told me just now. Like, yep, I don't know. Like, and they changed his name. His name used to be Jacob Fatu, and now it's I forgot what it is now. Yeah, so I keep up with what I can. I watch like pay per views. Perfect, because I'm like, I got Peacock. I'll throw exactly. the pay per views. I can on. catch those. So yeah. yeah, I don't have time to watch during the week. Five hours of of wrestling every week like who like and then there's people who, then there's like the AEW too I watch that sometimes yeah but it's so. funny because I don't watch Raw and then if you watch Peacock with the ads like you know how before matches they show yep. the story of what's going on mm-hmm. if you have ads they play an ad instead of those videos so then I still uh, don't know what the fuck yeah, going on yeah you still have no idea what's going <laughs> yeah, I'm still confused because I have the Peacock with ads too yeah, I'm like that- that was pissed because I tried to watch WrestleMania and I was like, all right, let's see. Like every time I'd be like, all right, let's see what's going on. And then he cuts an ad. I'd be like, well, like, fuck. Oh, <laughs> I'm just as lost as fucking ads. Yeah, I'm just as lost as I would have been. So that's that's the one good thing that WWE will does uh, that that does better with AEW. It's at Bills. least like explain to you, like so they don't have to be like, yeah. I'm like, why are these guys fighting? What's the what's the beef here? Yeah, how can I get into this instead of just watching it? Bla- I can watch UFC like that, though. Yeah. UFC, they don't really tell you shit. It's just no. like, all right, this dude's fighting him. Let's start. <laughs> You're like, I don't know why. What drives me nuts, I like UFC, but the submission like stuff sometimes gets the grappling. Boring. Like, if they're yeah, just like grappling the whole time. Yeah, that I gets, don't want to see him on no. the ground for five minutes. I want to see punches and yes. kicks and jumping off the cage and shit. I don't want to see Brazilian I want to see foot WWE. tickling. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to, like, give me, like... Throw a chair in there or something. Yeah, stand up, punch each other into the face until somebody falls to the ground. Yeah. You don't... ever seen any of the bare knuckle? On YouTube? I've yeah. seen some of that, yeah. I, I like, like watching backyard UFC. Yeah. I like watching that shit. Me and my, fr- uh, my co-host, we used to sit down and watch that shit. Oh, I yeah. forgot the name of it, but like, the, yeah, the, like street beef song. Yeah, uh, yes. street beef, exactly. Yeah, street yes, beef. that's it. Oh hell yeah! yeah. Did I watch street beef? We used to get high and watch that Fuck for like yeah. two hours. How great is that? Is that not great? That shit was great. Then uh, when the UFC game came out, they made a, a like where you could fight in the backyard, and it looked just, just like street like beef. So used to beefs. I remember that. That's we used that's to watch that shit all the stuff. time. I like the BKFC, the bare knuckle with uh, my, that Mike Perry fights in. That that's pretty fun. Hmm. To yeah, that check that out. Uh, he's fighting Jake Paul now on July twentieth. Really? Yeah, because uh, Tyson. Oh, he's he's the one picking up that fight. Yeah, because now now Tyson and Jake Paul are not. Tyson got hurt, so now yeah, he's fighting in like October it. or November. So, but now this other guy, Platinum Mike is he, Perry, is going to take the fight on July twentieth. Is he from Jersey? No, he's from. I think he's in Florida. Oh, you said it like. Yeah, like oh, I know. Yeah. I'm just a huge. He's like uh, he's like the number one bare knuckle guy basically oh. right now. Yeah, he oh. used to fight. He used to be a UFC fighter. How old is he? Is he? He's old? like. Uh, like is he past? His... No, he's like uh, maybe thirties, okay. early thirties. I'm trying to see if I should watch this this fight now because I wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna watch. I it. didn't know who he was. Yeah, so. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna pay to watch it. Oh no, I wasn't gonna no, do that yeah. at all. <laughs> I, mean, I might be put. He like he knocks people the fuck out. Oh yeah. Yeah, platinum okay. Mike. Are they still fighting in Cowboy Stadium? Yeah, uh, they're fighting in Tampa now. Okay. Yeah, I guess they're not filling up Cowboy Stadium. Yeah, playing Mike Perry. Okay. He's a fucking bare beast, knuckle dude. fighter. Yeah. I'm going to have to look him up. I got to see what's going I on. I think you'll like Platinum. I, I would be shocked if you watch some Platinum Mike and you don't like it. Well, I hope he knocks Jake Paul the oh, fuck out. It, <laughs> I think Jake Paul's crazy for taking this fight. I mean, at this point, he's he's kind of like how we were talking about with open mics. He's kind of comfortable with winning. Yeah. Because he's been just knocking everyone out. Bro, she's going to be in for a world of trouble <laughs> with Are they, what, what kind of fight is it, though? Boxing. Uh, not bare is, knuckle, though. Okay, because I was like... If it was bare knuckle, his, oh, he's done. That's his shit, too, though. Jake Paul loves to throw you in some other shit that you're not used to. Yeah. Mike originally... Was you was like a UFC MMA fighter, and then he he went over to the bare knuckle. He's been doing the bare knuckle, and this will be just like a straight boxing match. Okay, let's see. Don't go out there and pull a Connor. No, fucking uh, punching in the back of the head and shit. Oh yeah, that that really was... work somebody. And now Connor's out of. Uh, yeah, the fight. did you see the picture of yeah, his, his foot? foot? Yeah. Ugh. I understand. Yeah, no, <laughs> you like, missed that fight. Yeah, like I love people are like, oh, it's only. He only broke his pinky. I'm like, you ever break a toe? You know how annoying it is to wa- just walk down the street? Yeah, you want him to fight you someone? You want him to fit, like, a, a guy that's trying to kill him and be like, I'm in pain? No, it's not going to. And with the amount of stuff he has on the line. Yeah, it's not just a he fight. Can't, 
he's at the point of his career if he loses it's again, over. it's a problem. It's over. You gotta he's got to be <laughs> ready to go. Yeah, you got to be at peak condition. That was the problem with that fight. Is Shout I, out Dustin Poirier, too. Dustin. La- Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Shout out. That's the thing with UFC. Like, if you're not, like, with uh, especially that fight. Connor needs a win, and Michael Chandler, I like both of them. They yeah. both need wins. So, so like, one of you, like, it's a disaster because both of you guys are draws, but I can't have you each taking a loss here. You, you both each need to win a fight and then yeah. fight each other, kind of. Lord forbid you get knocked out. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. So, I understood. But he had somebody, I think it was Dana White, said he changed after he got $100 million. I was like, he definitely did. Who doesn't change? But exactly. That? I was like, who would want to fight after getting I that know. much money? You fight out of necessity. That's not what I mean. You, yes. You know, even got, if you love it, you're not going to keep doing it. It's got, It's harder <laughs> to like, if you give me $100 million, like... Do you do you do you, do you think I might have trouble getting to that Tuesday mic open mic? You know what I mean? Like maybe I might not make it to that Tuesday open mic. I might be like, you know what? I booked a show on a Friday. I rented out this whole place. I'm putting it on. I'll just do that. Yeah, but that's even diff- that's still not fighting. Like yeah, you could you get a hundred million dollars and they want you to risk getting no matter how bad yep. that mic you do after getting a hundred million dollars, you're not gonna get knocked out and or think choked about out. That injury he had on that with his leg. That's got to be where he broke his leg kicking. That shit, that shit was Think disgusting. about like how I would be it for me. Yeah. I'd be done. Your fucking leg wrapped around someone else's leg like a I snake. I would be that almost like I I'm like I better be careful walking around after I saw that. I'm like I can't have any growl. I'm like yeah. I'm not built for that to recover fucking, from that. Uh, Joe Theismann broke his leg like that. Nobody said he changed when he didn't no. come back. <laughs> he broke his leg. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that shit is I, I don't know why. Good old Dana. Dana just want money. He just wants you to fight. He's so brutal. <laughs> they I'm make say it, something to get him back in there. It's like I, heard, I don't get. It's like UFC pays those guys like a fraction compared to what boxing pays, and I'm like, I don't. Nobody I know watches boxing. Nobody, nobody I know man. talks about boxing. If I even mention boxing outside of like two fighters, nobody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm like. Where's all the money coming from in their side? And I'm like, why is none of the money on this yeah. side trickling down to the fighters? Mm-hmm. Like, why do all the UFC guys have to fight Jake Paul in boxing to make any money? <laughs> it doesn't seem to make any sense. It doesn't. I think it's because they all... Because uh, I don't think in boxing everybody signed to one league, right? Like how in everybody... Like in MMA you got to be signed yeah. in the UFC... I don't it, think boxing is No, like it's like... I don't watch boxing, but I think it's There's basically... It's just like... They wanted to... A couple of fighters tried to sue the UFC as a monopoly because they were like, that's how it should be. Like, it should be basically based off weight classes. So it's like in boxing, like, there's like, you know, different titles, but it's all weight classes. So yeah, it's, that's yeah. why you're having like 30 fucking belts. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like, yo, the IBF, WBF, WBC, inter- intercontinental, regional... <laughs> Champion. That always took me out of boxing too, because well, because I didn't know it was. I was like, how the fuck he got thirty belts? Like yeah. he got twelve belts. What's yeah. going on? The other dude got ten belts. Like what's? And boxing does the other thing where nobody fights. Like they don't fight the big names. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, and they don't stack cards. Oh yeah, it's always just one. It's like fight. one <laughs> fight you give a shit about, and then like three other ones you've never heard of, and they want you to spend ninety dollars on pay per view for yeah. it. The whole time, everybody else fighting, everybody just showing up to the house, or they eating. Yeah, <laughs> and you're just like, no one's paying. They're talking about when the fight starting, two people fighting right now. Yep. Like, <laughs> oh, when's this one going on? Yeah, who is this? When is this gonna be over? <laughs> they better hurry up. And then it's like. Uh, over like especially like when they used to say with Tyson where he'd knock it, people out in the first fifteen seconds of the first round. It's like all right, well now what do we do the rest of the like we waited five hours for, for that thirty second fight and done. Or like they got the stories of people going to the bathroom and then they come back yeah, and the come fight's back over. Fights over. Oh, <laughs> hilarious. Which is kind of like your dad falling asleep. Yep, falling asleep <laughs> in the middle of the garden. It's like I'm like we should have had him tested for like a disease. Like, we were like, is he narcoleptic? Like. Like, people are like looking at him like, is this guy asleep? Like, is he like, how does he this pass guy? out? Yeah, like, what? <laughs> you getting medical help for you, sir? Are you okay? I think I've seen someone fall asleep in a Saints game before, which is pretty loud. And, like, sober, too. Not like, not <laughs> well, like, yeah, pa- was drunk. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> like not like, no, like, no drinks. Like, it wasn't like he was pounding beers in the parking lot. Like, we're talking about, like, 
He had like a like a like a Pepsi, and then like <laughs> asleep at the at the garden. He sat down and got comfortable. Oh yeah, it's That's like impressive. It is right. <laughs> like my mom used to be like, oh, he could nap anywhere. Like he'll fall asleep anywhere. But I'm like, no, he could. Clearly, like, literally, <laughs> he literally was. People could be hollering and screaming right on side of him, and he'll yelling, be screaming. Literally, just the Rock and the Big Show in the ring. Peak wrestling. Peak. Like the best era, the best year, and he's just like <laughs> <laughs> the best ar- stadium arena. Like the, That's fair. That's yeah, fair. the world's most famous arena, <laughs> and this man's unimpressed with any of it. There is a seven foot, four hundred pound man <laughs> battling a Samoan who's chiseled out of rock. The in world's the, most yes. famous movie star, and it's like he doesn't, couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Couldn't hold his interest. Should have. Well, he wasn't asleep at this point, but a fucking someone got driven face first in the thumbtacks. Yeah. That same night. Not even. I like, bet he didn't fall asleep during ECW yeah. though. No, he was wide awake. <laughs> he was his head on the swivel, like watching everybody with the weapons. Like, <laughs> where are they gonna come from? As soon as he'd have fell asleep, a fucking chair would have fallen out. Oh yeah. Ground, they would have face. messed with him at ECW. <laughs> <They'd> <laughs> like, These robbed guys him. asleep. Yeah. <laughs> and we would have been like, yeah, get him, get him. <laughs> Turned on my dad. I did a heel turn on my dad at ECW. <laughs> I'm hitting my dad with a stop sign <laughs> that some stranger gave me. Yeah, Sorry, funny. dad, but it's we were if you're NWO for life, dad. <laughs> you falling asleep? No, Hollywood Hogan's not here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he'd have said that. He'd have pissed off the whole crowd. <laughs> Yeah, and they all hated Hogan. Is Hulk Hogan gonna be? Here? Oh, you want to see Hogan? Like, yeah. drop this. You fucking nerd! Get out of here. Was that in Jersey? That ah, uh, New York State. Everything was in New York. Yeah, that was Poughkeepsie. Oh yeah, you said that. Yeah, they, 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 we would go to like the the. I heard Poughkeepsie before. I never knew where that was. That's in New York. Yeah, it sounds like a made up town. It does sound like Poughkeepsie. A, it's spelled like crazy too. It's like a super long. It's like that's like Mississippi. There's like a G in there somewhere. Right? Like, crazy, right? Fuck Kipsy. Yeah. <laughs> Kipsy, like, that's upstate New York. Like, like hard-ass name to spell. Mm-hmm. Every, like, all those New York State places are weird. Like, Newburgh, Poughkeepsie. Newburgh? I've never heard any of these Yeah, Orangeburg. Everything's like a burg. Or... I know Albany. Yeah, Albany. <laughs> I know Albany and New York City. Yeah, and I like how... Long Al- Island. Yep, Long Island. I like how Albany is the capital, technically, and it's the most irrelevant part no of one even knows, I don't. Now. No one even knows where that is. They just know the, the Big it's, Apple. It's like eight hours away from here. Really? I didn't know New York was like that crazy. big. crazy... Yeah, New York State, like, basically goes, like... It makes no sense, because I clearly don't know geography well. <laughs> I don't either. Because I'm like, what do you mean? Like, you can't get to... Can- like... Like it go New York basically goes right up to Canada, and you're like, but what about Vermont and all those other places? You're like, <laughs> like, like to the side, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I guess this way, yeah. So it's like hmm. super weird because yeah, I, I guess Niagara Falls is technically either in New York or Canada. I think it's yeah, it's like right in between or something. Yeah, because I've been there once. Oh really? Yeah. Nice. I want to. I, I know you can drive there. I want to drive up there one day. Yeah, we we drove. I said that. I think it's still like six, seven hours. It's a long. Yeah. yeah it's, it's not. It's not like. Philly. It's not a day trip. No, <laughs> yeah. you gotta stay. You gotta take off work for that. Yeah, you might have to stay overnight. Even like that's a long trip for just going up, sleeping, coming back the next day. <laughs> well, like, I mean, it's different if you if you've been before. Yeah. Were you a kid when you went? Were you young? I was in like. Uh, it wasn't my your early idea. 20s. No, it wasn't my. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, you probably didn't give a fuck. Also. There, I wanted <laughs> to go to the casino. Maybe you know, I had no money. <laughs> I've worked at a lot of casinos. So I have no desire to go to the casino. I don't like. I don't want to lose money. Like, I'm that's not, a big like, thing too. I'm not like. It kills me to. I lose twenty dollars. I'm ready to go. I'm like, that's a bag of weed right there. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I'm like, that's a blunt. What am I doing? I could have. I had a guarantee enjoyment right there, and I threw it away for you nothing. Smoked it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, no. The idea of like, like, like throwing it like that's not fun to me. Yeah, some people, bro, some people do that shit all day and get, night. Like, some especially with the it. sports betting now. That shit, oh my god, that shit's so addictive, I hate sports betting. It's crazy and so easy. Like. Yep, it's so much access. Like, bro, when that shit, I don't know how long it's been legal out here, but we just got, Louisiana got sports betting, like, last year. Okay. And that shit blew up so fast. As soon as it was legal, everybody was sports betting. It, like, here, it, it maybe, a, like, two or three years ago, we got it here, and then, bam, it exploded like crazy. We were, like, itching at the teeth to do that shit. I Turns out it's not as easy as you think. No. <laughs> like, the spreads and all this stuff, like... 
And then they have all parlays. Like, yeah, the oh, the parlays is the biggest. <laughs> like, so you're telling me if seven things went go right my way, I'll make all this money. I'll, I'll win twenty thousand yeah. dollars. For $5 yeah, I just need uh, the Detroit Pistons to win the NBA Finals, <laughs> and then I need uh, the Dallas Cowboys to win the Super Bowl, and I'll have $100 million. It'll yep. be great. It's all going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> that shit, bro, I, I've lost so much. The last time I really sports bet it was uh, when the Super Bowl, when the Bengals played. I think I, I had a parlay set up. It was like seven or eight legs. It was like $5 down for like $700, $800. I, lo- I got all the legs except the last one because oh. Joe Burrow didn't run for seven more yards. Oh, see that? How he, much did that kill you? Oh, bro, it broke my heart. I, I, <laughs> it broke my heart. I, w- I was betting like every weekend, and when that happened, I didn't bet for like a year. And I was like, so sick. He was run, bro. I was so hurt. He he was literally scrambling every play the last drive because they were trying to win the game. And then fucking Aaron Donald, big ass, tackled him and hurt his knee, and he didn't run for the rest of the drive. Oh, and you're like fucking Aaron Donald, and then you want to be like, "Hey, Aaron Donald, thanks for costing me seven hundred <laughs> yeah. bucks, you prick." And, and people be doing that. That's yeah, people will be like, "He's like, what do you want? It's my fucking job." Like, what do you mean? Like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your little parlay. Yeah, like, all right. <laughs> It'd be funny if Aaron Donald just said, "He's like, all right, here's fucking five hundred. Shut up." <laughs> I seen um, I seen one where a dude. I, yesterday, if somebody DM somebody, I was like, you owe me $700. I need that, like, today. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. You I love that. You don't want to see yeah. it that day. Please. Oh, yeah, let me threaten. Uh... <laughs> Julian Edelman or yeah, somebody. Yeah, like, oh, thank you for screwing me over, <laughs> man. I know you make millions of dollars, but I lost $100. Well, in my fantasy thing, I think I needed, uh, I was in a fantasy championship, and I, I just needed this one receiver mm. to catch the ball and just, like, <laughs> fall forward. And the the whole first half, he's, like, I'm, like, throw, he's not even throwing the ball to him. And I'm, yeah. like, having a That's hard time. And I'm, like, and as the game's going, I'm slowly, like, I'm, like, oh, he's going to catch one thing. It'll be fine. Nope. Slowly getting crazier. <laughs> and, like, I'm wandering around like this, like a psychopath. By like, getting, like, I'm throwing the fucking ball. I'm throwing the ball. What are you doing? And then I'm like, I I caught myself on Twitter. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, ty- the I'm typing out the fucking lunatic message. <laughs> like, you fucked me. All I need you to fucking do. I think it was Nick Nick Foles. How could you fuck oh, what? I, fucking Philly. Oh, you want, this is. I'll tell you exactly how I started it out. This is how crazy. Nick Foles, what time did you wake up today and decide you were gonna fuck me? <laughs> Not even if, like, no, I didn't even give him a chance to go, I, well, I didn't. I, no, what time was it that you decided you were going to fuck me this today? Was your whole this day. was your whole day today. You, what time when you woke up did you decide you were going to fuck me? That's funny. You came out of, like, a blackout oh, rage. Oh, I came in, I'm like, what am I doing? I'm like, I'm a lunatic. What are you doing? You I'm like, stop. I'm like, oh, how embarrassing. Imagine if that tweet, imagine if I had sent that tweet. Like, he's like, what is this guy talking? That's how it is. That's how, it, that's the Evil of I almost became fantasy. one of those. I was like, <laughs> I, I mean, walking around my house, you're going here. Like, this. oh yeah, I've stood up for whole games before. Like, what the oh, fuck yeah, is going on? Oh yeah, you know on? something's up if I'm one, <laughs> yeah. like, pacing back and forth. What the fuck? Like, it's, it sucks the fun almost out of it. it so it, people are like, it oh, changes it. Yeah. People are like, oh, you will throw some money on it, make it more fun. I'm like, no, no. you mean make it filled with anxiety? Yeah, it doesn't make it fun. It makes it intense. Yeah. Like, so I'm like, I'm in. I'm like, <laughs> then all of a sudden my neighbor's like, why is he screaming? It's like, it's like, it's, like, it's a Lions Vikings game. <laughs> why is this guy screaming? Exactly. Like, why are you fucking about to punch the TV over I'm, a WNBA I'm throwing, game? Yeah, like I'm throwing things <laughs> in my apartment for an Alcorn State football yeah. game. You're I'm watching like, no. track and field, yes. bro. It's not that serious. We were like uh, betting on German pretzel cutting. Did you see that? Did you see that? The I videos see of that of them where like slicing the pretzel and they're weighing it to see if it's even halves. I'm that's like, that's how you meme. know. I saw that like yeah, a meme. Yeah, like a meme. I'm like, that's how you know you've gone too far. And you look this up. I'm like, no, Hans Schroeder's the best pretzel cutter <laughs> in all of in all of Struzelberg. I got two hundred dollars yeah. on this shit. Nobody cuts a pretzel in Germany <laughs> like this guy. I'll tell you that. Yeah. And that one time you bet your car note on it, he fucking knits his finger. Of some course, shit. right? Now I'm excited for the. I'm, I I haven't been excited for the hot dog contest in a hundred years. Like, oh, the Nathan's. Hot and dog now that they contest? banned Joey Chestnut, the guy who wins every year, he's he's gonna go up against the Japanese guy who they banned a hundred years ago, Kobayashi. 
and they're finally gonna go head to head. Some WWE shit. Yeah, right. Are they eating hot dogs? Yeah, they do their own shit. Are they independent? <laughs> yeah, because uh, Kobe, said, yeah, Kobayashi was like the the world's best eater. The fat, of course, the fat guy knows about the competitive eating. <laughs> I've whatever. never talked about this before, right? So <laughs> we've talked about Joey Chestnut before, though, I'm right? I'm talk- so Kobayashi was like the best, eat- the best like competitive eater in the world. They decided they they're going to start uh, major league eating, MLE, major league eating, <laughs> competitive food eating. Uh-huh. So they want, so they signed a sponsorship with the nation's hot dog eating contest, right? So you can't do the Nathan's Hot Dog Contest unless you sign an exclusive Major League Eating contract. Wow. So Kobayashi won't sign, because I guess he was making too much money money doing whatever. Yeah. So he wouldn't sign the Major League Eating contract. So they banned him from the hot dog competition. (laughs) So every year for like years, he would show up and start like, Eating hot dogs in protest outside. That's weird. And like get arrested. <laughs> and so they like banned him. That's weird. And then he was getting, chugging glizzies yeah, in the parking lot. He was like, oh, I'll show you. I'll eat 73 of them out here. Or like, and then Why Joe, is that Asian dude eating hot yeah, dogs? Like, First of all, he's Japanese. Yeah, they're like, he's outside. Just, he brought his own hot dogs to the car. Imagine pulling off and eating. He's at home boiling 70 hot can, dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and then Joey Chestnut signed got signed on with like a, a Impossible the Vegan. Yeah, I seen that he one. He signed on, so they banned him. I guess, which makes no sense because yeah. he gives a shit. He like, eat vegan hot dogs or whatever. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess they want you to eat theirs, but it's fucking stupid. I don't know. It makes no sense. So fucking now they're gonna go ahead. And, I think Netflix. This is how desperate Netflix must be. How about you give some comics the, other other than the five you give like. I mean, there is a good bit. There is a good bit, but I'm like <laughs> they trying to get into stream. Trying though. to get into yeah. So they then so now they're gonna have a special head to head Kobayashi versus Joey Chestnut in Cowboy Stadium. Yeah, we're <laughs> uh, gonna take over for yeah. Jake Paul. It's gonna be Jake Paul and then them eating hot dogs. You have a weigh in, weigh them afterwards <laughs> also. I would like that would be interesting <laughs> if they weighed the guys before the hot dog contest and we and they should do them a out. documentary. That would be pretty sweet. They should follow them because I definitely want to see what it's like like those couple Dude, of days I, afterwards. Have you ever watched the actual contest? Not it's the whole so thing. So gross. I don't watch the whole thing. I can't watch it. It's gross because they're like dipping the hot dog buns in, in water. water. It's too gross to me. I can't Shugging do it. it. Then it, uh, you don't you can't even <laughs> see it. They're, they're, yeah, no. They do that like weird thing where and the fucking water's coming yes. through their oh, fingers. It's terrible. Like they're throwing up basically. Yeah, it's it's, it's hard awful. to watch. It's brutal. It's got it's just the worst. No. And then they do other ones, but I never watched like burgers no. and yeah. shit. I never I always wondered like if they do that with burgers and stuff also. I'm like and like the the people in the live audience, like how nutty are you? You got up early and drove there and stood outside <laughs> to watch hot dogs. You're not even eating? in it. You're yeah, just watching. Like, what? <laughs> I love watching this. Fourth of July tradition. I had free passes for an album release concert on Friday, and I didn't go because I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to get there. I don't want to have to get there early enough and stand on line to get in. That's fun. It's not even people eating hot dogs. <laughs> do they do that out here? What? The hot dog eating contest. They do I feel it, like that's it, some New York City shit. Oh, yeah. They do it in Coney Island. That's oh, it. Okay. There's nobody like, no one's sense. eating. I heard, well, I heard, I saw it on a cart that uh, Coney Island invented hot dogs. Yeah, or something like that. Or something like <laughs> yeah, that. whatever. Like, I don't know. I'm might, from Louisiana. Yeah. I don't fucking know. They're I'm like, just like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I, I don't even like Nathan's hot dogs. No, they're not that. They're not that good at all. No, not at all. At the risk of sounding pause worthy, I've had better glizzies. Better, oh, hell yeah. better hot dogs. I, yeah, yeah. Me too. There's a million places much better than that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Jersey style wieners. Mm. <laughs> That's like a big thing in this area. Have you seen that yet? Really? The Jersey style hot dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's like, it used to, there's like places like, uh, there's a place called Haram's. Hiram, yeah. Hiram's? Yeah. yeah that, um, and I've driven past. I want to go, but the, the, I went once and I didn't know they only did, took cash. Yeah. So I had to leave. <laughs> They're good. But I haven't been back since. I want to try them. They're good. Johnny and Hangies is good. Rut's hot. There's like okay. a bunch of them. Yeah. I got places to try. Okay. Well, we're at almost an hour and a half. So I'll wrap it up with one more question. Um, any people in this local scene, because you host your own show and you do mics and stuff. So is, are there any people out here that you would say I should watch or try to put an effort out to watch? 
since I'm out here now? Anybody that I might not have seen? Or maybe I have seen just anybody that you think, any people you like watching, any of your favorites out here in the local scene? Yes. And I'm actually about shout outs also, so don't worry about forgetting anybody. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to give you like two people. They're super, they're, they're like, they've got a, a, a nice following on YouTube, right? Hmm. But their stand up is super funny. Like they like they do like video like they videos. do like videos and stuff and like sketches and stuff, which oh, are super yeah. Cool. Ryan Long and Danny Polachek. I feel like I've heard Danny's name before. Yeah, Danny's super funny, super nice guy. Like I met him a few times. Like uh they're super good. They're, they they moved from Canada, moved down here actually. Oh. Yeah. I like them. Um, Zach Amico. Zach Amico. Zach Amico, he's from Jersey, actually. He's from, like, Sea Caucus. Um, is that how you say it? Yes. Yeah, I thought it was Sea Caucus. It's, I, I'm probably saying it wrong. <laughs> it's like, like, people from, like, there's Newark or, like, like people will be like, you're not saying Newark right. And I'm like, somebody from Newark would be like, there's, like, oh. there's a million weird, like. Okay. I almost keep saying it's the caucus then. You're no, you're. <laughs> I, yeah, I have I that know. jersey. I, we don't we don't say any words right. Like I remember when I went to school, like people be like making fun of the way I talked. Like <laughs> they're like water, coffee. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, that's New York that. and Jersey. Yeah. Though. Coffee, uh, chocolate. Yeah, I, I like that though. It's funny. So I feel like that. I'm saying like I'm probably saying all these things wrong. It is. I think it is the caucus. Sea mm. caucus. Sea caucus. Mm. One of those guys. Yeah, Zach. So it's definitely Zach Amico. Super funny. Okay. Uh, Josh Wells. Another, like, f- super, like, he's a, su- like, you will see, like, a, does local stuff around here all the time. He's a really funny guy. I probably see And uh, uh, Pedro Garcia, too. Really, really funny. Tim, you know Tim Rager? I don't know. I, I suck with names. Too. Yeah. I'm, dude, I'm so <laughs> I'm bad I'm very with bad with names. And then it gets to the point where it's no longer appropriate for me to not know <laughs> yeah, your name. I've been knowing them too long. Yeah. yeah. And, then I'm like, and then I have to do this weird thing where it's like, I'll have to like, I'll be like, okay, I'll introduce them to somebody else. And then I'll do like the thing where I let them say their name and like, ah. <laughs> yeah. and then I also introduce my, yourself. Like my one friend knows that I do this. So he'll fucking make it like weird. and be like, are you going to introduce me to your friend? Yeah. So-and-so. And then I'll be and like, you stand motherfucker. There. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I don't know the name. You prick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my, pro- that's my problem. Usually it takes me like a good uh, faces. I'll remember your face. Uh, you'll be like, how does, why do you remember me? I'm like, I'll remember you forever. Your face. I might no, not I remember your name. I can't call you out in the crowd. No. <laughs> It usually takes me like a month to learn. I'm like, hey, things. chief, what's up, Gunner? What's up, bro? Hey, bro. Gunner, Gunner. Hey. If someone called me Gunner, hey, I instantly up, know Gunner? they didn't know my name. Hey, you doing Gunner? <laughs> what a douchey! Like, like, he just threw out whatever he thought. This it fucking worked. guy said Gunner. He's yeah. Fucking, he's fucking. Never been off. called Gunner a day in my life. Fucking guy. What's wrong with this fucking guy? Chief too, but it chief, depends. yeah, chief's mm-hmm. another one. Like, what's up, chief? Yeah, oh my god, oh, this guy! I no idea why he, he just called me chief. <laughs> I'm like, I know I'm a stranger. Yeah, that happened with uh, fuck, I can't even remember his name now, but that happened with somebody at your mic. Uh, he, he he introduced himself, and we did a show. I, oh, oh, one Chris, of the, oh, Chris! I yeah, did, right? Chris. Yeah, he walked in. He's like, "What's up, man, Chris?" And I was like, "Oh yeah, he don't know who I am." Yeah, he like, don't remember me. You got yeah. <laughs> I, I was at that show that you guys did yeah. together. It was in Garfield at, yeah. the, at the studio. Yeah, that was a good show too. It was. It was fun. But yeah, he said once I did a I did one of the jokes there, and he's like, "Oh, I remember. I remembered you when I heard it." I was like, "Well, I guess that's good." Yeah, you remembered the material. You didn't remember me, but you remembered the material. Oh hell yeah! So that's good. You got a you got a bunch of good ones. I like your, I'm your. Trying to get more, I'm stressing myself. Right, out. isn't it? Oh. And it, how good is it when you feel like you finally got like a new? I'm like, oh, I can finally add something yeah. new. It Sometimes feels I'm so like, good. I for like, it's like I, I'm like, I, I don't know why, but like, I like, I enjoy people's bits, and like, even though even if I've heard them before, I still laugh. Yeah. But I don't ever think that the other way. I'm like, these people are probably so <laughs> tired of hearing the same fucking three things. I'm like, I better give them something new. I think about that with like certain jokes. 
like certain jokes that do really well, I'm like, oh, they won't mind hearing this again. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes it's like, yeah, I know they're tired of hearing this. Never shit. mind drag queens, but <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody wants. Like, I'm like, oh, is they breaking that out again? Jesus. Yeah. yeah. It's like, why don't you tell us about your girlfriend going on vacation with your girlfriend again? <laughs> <and> you hack. <laughs> That's the thing. Then when they start telling you, they start saying them with you, like a fucking concert. Um, <laughs> I almost did that to Jesse by accident <laughs> one time. <laughs> he was forgetting the word in his joke, and I am under my breath. I'm like, bird. <laughs> <laughs> and you're calling your dad bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I, I'm like requesting bit. Yeah, that's, that's like what there's you also know. people like from the mics that I, I know. It's like I there's certain bits I just love when people do. So like I have favorite bits that everybody does. Like yeah. I'm like oh sweet. I'm like I love that's when you different. That though, that's different. That that's that's admiring. That's that that feels good when people yeah. do shit like I'm that. I'm like oh I hope he does this bit or I hope he does that one. Yeah, that feels good. All right. Any shout outs besides the people I just oh, had you shout yeah. out? Yeah, shout out to, of course, my boy Tommy, who does nothing is sacred with me. Shout You're out the out. best T. Uh, thank you for like, for having me on the podcast, dude. This is so much fun. Thank you for being on it. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Uh, check out Nothing is Sacred Comedy. Yes. Uh, we have a YouTube channel. We're on Instagram. The uh, link we, will be in the podcast. Yep. Yeah, we, we put on shows, uh, usually monthly in the area. Thank Shout you out. so much. I was, I've been awesome. Thank you for having me. Shout out. Shout out to your parents. Shout out to your dad and yes. your mom. Your mom for being very inspiring and yep. your dad for being able to sleep in oh, any environment. Right? That is very crazy. That is nuts, right? <laughs> He's probably like, oh, you stop telling people about that story right now. <laughs> the like, fucking building was probably shaking. It was. I'm like, <laughs> you was might, I'm like, you don't understand this. In the Father's Day post, <laughs> I, f- I, had a, I had this found this picture when we were moving. It was like from one of my wrestling meets where my dad sound asleep on the ground <laughs> and I'm sitting next to him. My mom took a picture of it and I posted that and I go, shit, you know, the, my dad, I'm like, there was also, you know, the time we were at Madison Square Garden and this and I yeah, put that in crazy. there. Like, I took my daddy to, re- my daddy came with me to WrestleMania the first time and he wasn't, he wasn't that interested to, into it, but he got, in, he got invested, invested the longer it went. He had a good time. Like he he enjoyed the Michaels Undertaker match. Oh, that was because I remember good. he was he kept like clowning me about how into it I got because I was a Shawn Michaels fan. I so love Shawn Michaels. Eventually, like as it kept going, I actually believed he was going to win for a while, and my I daddy kept like, going like, "I can't believe you thought he was going to win." I that. know, I was so bummed. And I was like, "Shut the fuck up!" Like this, <laughs> like uh, that's he the had him. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love that. That was fun. That was good. All right. Um, as far as shout outs with me, um, phew. Who could I shout out? It's a lot of people. Shout out Alana J. Yeah. Shout, shout out to uh, Clerk Andre. Shout out Derek Humphrey. I gotta get him on the podcast soon. Shout out Dusty Slay for introducing us. Um, shout out everybody that's been on the podcast. Shout out Indigo Sun. Shout out Blair the Trainer. Shout out Jesus Christ. There's so many people. Shout out Jess Kenny. Shout out my name Dwayne. Um, I'm going to do like two more. Shout out pa- Pastor Petty. Shout out Loco. Shout out everybody else that's been on the podcast also. Shout out JP Leonard. Shout out Isaac. Go ahead. Can I get two more? <laughs> I forgot. My boys in the in the band, the Dallas Cowboys, they're super awesome. They always support me. That's their they're name? They're the best. Yeah, the Dallas oh, Cowboys. I can't support them. Oh. But shout out. Shout out to Tim Rager. Shout out to all the comics that have done our show. You guys are the best. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And shout shout out. out to Dwayne for having me on. And shout on. out to Brett for doing it. And fuck the Cow- the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas not Cowboys. the band, the, the team. Ba- yeah, fuck, fuck the Dallas Cowboys, the, the the team. The band is awesome. Yeah, sure. I don't know the band, but I'm sure they're <laughs> awesome. Fuck the team. And I'm going to leave it on that, and I will catch y'all on the next episode. Peace.